show what is transactional analysis it's a system for understanding people's behavior for trying to change people's behavior and for predicting people's behavior at the risk of pinning you up against a wall how is transactional analysis different from other forms of analysis I think the main difference uh, seems to be that it's in simple language and for instance, a lot of the reviews of the book have said uh, this is written for laymen as a sort of a derogatory kind of criticism. Mm -hmm. Well, it wasn't written for laymen, it was written for professionals, but it just happens that it is possible to say very complicated things about human beings in simple language. Well, does transactional analysis conflict with any of the existing forms? No, it doesn't conflict at all. In fact, it, it supplements them and it forms a, let's say, a basis for using any of the others. It's a very good preparation for any of the others. Does it overturn any of the uh, earlier theories? Not at all. It merely approaches things from a different angle and adds to the whole body of psychological theory. Transactional analysis seems like a much more pragmatic approach. Yes, it is. I think most other therapies uh, think about uh, talk about thinking and feeling and our question of the patient is not how to what do you think or how do you feel but what are you going to do about it and uh, there's a story that I think is a little unfair but anyway it sort of uh, uh, illustrates what I mean where uh, the patient came in one day and said to the psychiatrist uh, by the way I killed my wife last night and hid her body in the closet and some people might say, aha, now we got something to work with. What's your interest in closets? Uh, or we might say, uh, why are you killing your wife? <laughs>